This is for Zipify pages. I have a major announcement. My name is Ezra. Check this out. So it, inside, I'm going to first tell you about it. I'm pretty excited. I can't even talk. So basically what we've been able to do is make so that Zipify pages can work within the infrastructure of your current Shopify theme, which is, uh, we've been like working on this for like 12 months, this one feature, trying to figure out how to get it to work in addition to our application. So check this out. Here we are inside of Zipify pages, right? And let's say we wanted to use, you know, one of our templates, maybe like our long form product offer page template here. I'm just going to create that template. So now this template itself, you'll notice once it's actually created here, um, and now it's created, it's just taking a second, my internet's a little bit slow. So you'll notice that I have a header already on this template. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and delete that header. Now, normally what I would have told people to do is go ahead and use one of the many headers that we have built into our Zipify Pages application. This is one of my favorites right here. But in this case, I'm gonna delete that header. I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna delete this footer right here as well, pretty standard footer, and I'm gonna come in to the page settings option. I'm gonna go into layout, and I'm gonna say, use the theme, header, and footer, and I'm gonna save that. And what you'll notice, and I'll see this thing, page settings saved, you'll notice is that I've got this placeholder. It says, this placeholder image will be replaced with your theme's header when viewing this page live. This placeholder image will be replaced with your theme's footer when viewing this page live. And then, within that infrastructure, I can do drag and drop, long form, left, right content in a Zipify pages functionality. Anything that I want I can modify that, but let's just leave the page as is for now. I'm gonna publish this onto the store real quick. And what I wanna do then is actually preview this on the store. And what we're gonna see is that this page is published using the header and footer from our store. This is where our footer starts right here with this, uh, you know, be friendly, uh, uh, carousel and then some videos. This is our store's header. Now this page is a constrained uh, page. So probably what I would do is enable the fixed layout there uh, and save that to make that look even better. But man, you now have the ability to use your themes, header and footer. Now let me show you another example inside the boom store. I can add a page, use a template. Now this is a new functionality that we just developed. Let's say I grab this page right here and this is a new thing. It's not even live in the application yet. We're about to add this live into the application. Let's go ahead and delete this header here. Let's go ahead and delete this footer. And there's one more functionality that I'm going to show you here. I'm going to go ahead and delete this navigation bar. I'm going to come into my page settings. I'm going to go to layout and I'm going to say, use the theme header and footer. And I'm also going to say, use this as the store's home page. So I'm not going to actually save that because I want this to overwrite my, my home page. But basically, then you would have the ability to publish a page inside of Zipify pages where you're using drag and drop, left, right content, whatever elements that you want, but that ends up being the actual home page of your store. So we can now replace your themes homepage and give you the ability to easily create a dynamic drag and drop using dynamic product blocks if you want, where these, pro these, these blocks would integrate with your Shopify stores products, using the ability to manage your button elements and modify and say, you know what, I want a rounded button, I want it to be extra large in size, I want to change the text on there, I want to change the font color on there and save that. It's a really ugly looking button. Uh, maybe you wanted to have on here uh, some customer testimonials in a long form, left, right fashion, modify that imagery. But basically within a week, we're gonna roll out, this is the stage version of the, of the uh, Zipify Pages application, the ability to use a Zipify page as your store's homepage. You already in the live application have the ability to use your store's header and footer. So your current theme, whatever theme is live on your Shopify store, we will find the header, we will find the footer, we will place those on the page and we will then give you the ability to use long form, left, right, Zipify style, you know, our style of page. Of course, there's a million different elements or block, we call them blocks that you could use, but this gives you the ability to create any page that you want within the current infrastructure of your theme. And you know what else is cool? If you come into your settings, by the way, here under your settings, you can sync your store's fonts, right? So you can sync the fonts from your theme. And then when you're over here and you're creating a page, what you can do is you can say, you know, hey, I wanna add a headline block. Let's just say, a, you know, a general headline block, right? Like this, for example. Then you can come into the font and you'll notice that if you come down to the bottom here, um, you're gonna find the fonts that were linked from your store, which are gonna be, and since I'm in the test app, it's not actually syncing. But if we come back over to this constructor, and we add in, let's say, you know, like a random headline block here. 
uh, under general content, which is a very often used block. We edit this, we scroll down. What we can see is that these are the custom fonts that were synced from my theme. So I could select this and I could say, you know what? I want to use this custom font. Now that font is what's found in your theme. I can save that. So what we're doing is we're taking elements from your current theme and we're making them able for you to use them in the drag and drop builder. So eventually you'll be able to build your collection pages. You'll be able to build your, you can already build your home page. You'll be able to build your cart pages. Like we're coming for themes basically, you know? So currently new feature, big announcement inside of Zipify pages. I just wanted to shoot a special video about it. Use your themes header and footer in any page that you've developed right there in the settings. Hope you enjoy this. Hope you're uh, making money. There's like thousands of published Zipify pages. And what we're working on now is native split testing in the tool. So you can have two Shopify product offer pages and split test the two of them right within Zipify pages. We're working on a conversion dashboard so you can see how many people visit the page and how much money was made off of each page and stuff like that. Uh, we have got that going in the back end and Zipify pages is very profitable for many stores. So if you're not using it, use it. Uh, um, and if you are using it, use these features and I'll be in touch as we have new updates. Ezra here from Zipify. Thanks for watching. See you soon.